welcome back. Today is January the 17th, 2023, and today is my first video of the year 2023. Um, also on January 1st, I celebrated five years on YouTube, and I am just a little bit short of 800 subscribers, which to me is amazing. I'll never be a big content creator, and that's okay. Um, I think you need to do YouTube because you enjoy doing it, not for any other motive. If the content creation builds up, that's great, but that's not what I'm here for. So anyhow, I do apologize. I totally intended to do a Vlogmas last year, or 2022. Fully intended to do it, and then I got COVID. Um, I got COVID, I started getting sick on Saturday. On Sunday, I tested positive, called my doctor Sunday. Um, spoke to the on-call, they said to come in tomorrow, um, which would be Monday. So I came in Monday, I actually didn't go in, I just pulled in outside, a nurse came out and they provide, prescribed me Paxlovid because of my autoimmune issues and everything else that's wrong with me. So anyhow, I took Paxlovid within a day or two, I started feeling better. The only side effect I had that was really awful was a really bitter taste in my mouth. It tasted like I had chewed up about a dozen aspirins. I just swished them around in my mouth nonstop. Um, so I started feeling better with, I retested on Thursday. Um, I had a faint line of positive. I tested on Sunday, I was COVID negative. So I started feeling better and the next day, I believe it was the next day or the day after that, I ended up going back to the doctor because I was sick again. They said, come in because I was having flu-like symptoms, took me back, did a flu test, did another COVID test, and I had COVID again. I, they call it rebound COVID, and it is um, unfortunately a side effect often for Paxlovid. Not for everybody who takes Paxlovid, but, you know, I go big, I go home, you know, so if it's going to happen to anybody, it was going to happen to me. So anyhow, I pretty much spent the entire month of December quarantined into my bedroom. Um, I was miserable. I felt horrible. I The second round was way worse. Um, I ran fever both times and I don't run a fever very often. Um, anytime it's over 101 it is of concern because my temperature is normally very low. Um, but anyhow, um, I had a nasty, nasty cough that just lingered forever. I had the COVID fatigue, which took about, I'd say pretty close to two weeks to really kind of work out of my system. So I had COVID fatigue on top of my normal fatigue. So anyhow, that was my December. It was not the best December I've ever had, but certainly not the worst December I've ever had. So anyhow, um, I don't really have a lot of updates going on. I am waiting to see the orthopedic surgeon. Um, to have my shoulder checked. I'm needing an MRI. The rheumatologist was supposed to order it. They have not ordered it. I have an HMO, so I can't do it. I have to have a go through them. So I will just wait for the orthopedic doctor and then I will have him order it. Um, and I'm also waiting to see the urologist because unfortunately one of the um, common things that happens to people who've had cytoxin, which is a chemotherapy that I had four years ago, um, there's a high rate of bladder cancer. So I'm going to start seeing a urologist uh, at least once a year, if not twice a year, just to kind of check that to make sure everything is good. Um, so far, no symptoms or anything, but I just want to stay on top of that because that is the last thing I want to um, let go and, you know, get bad. But anyhow, today, that's about it for my updates. I did want to tell you, though, that I am doing the 23andMe DNA test. Now I did do an ancestor DNA test a while, gosh, four years ago, I guess, or pretty close to four years ago. Um, and that's when I found out my ethnicity, which I'm mostly British and German, um, Russian, uh, you know, North European, 1% Nigerian, which I think is funny because I, I don't know where that came from. I see nowhere in my family tree. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. Um, what I am doing though is 23andMe is conducting research for rare diseases. It's a rare disease uh, research. I will link that down below for you. If you have any rare diseases, you may want to check. I think there was like a dozen of them. 
Ann Wagner's granulatosis, which is the main autoimmune disease that I have, also called GPA vasculitis, which is granulomatosis with polyangitis uh, vasculitis. So anyhow, they are taking 1,000 people per disease. And somebody on my Wagner's group um, pointed this out. So I filled out the form the previous Sunday. Um, I got it in, I was approved on Thursday. I got the approval saying that it had been sent. The kit came to me today, or excuse me, today, Saturday. And today I'm going to go ahead and do the DNA test. Um, I'm not gonna show that because it's gross. But anyhow, I'm going to take a DNA test and I'm kind of excited because one, I'm excited that I could possibly help do some research with Wagner's. Now I was told, and most of us have been told that there is no uh, hereditary um, with this. Wagner's is not hereditary. Autoimmune diseases are, but Wagner's in particular is not. Now, my children are more apt to get an autoimmune disease because I have them. I have multiple. They seem to think it might be um, genetic. So anyhow, I'm excited to be able to do a little bit to maybe help. Um, when I die, I do want my body donated to science. And so maybe they can figure something out with that. Um, but also, I am curious to see what my DNA shows on here. Um, and also, I'm going to do the health portion as well. So I'm um, kind of curious about that. The health portion, the way I understand it, will tell you the percentage that you will develop something like type 2 diabetes, which I have. Uh, mine was caused by Cushing syndrome, which was caused by long-term prednisone use. Um, but um, I was probably likely going to develop it later on because it does run in my family, I know. And I had gestational diabetes with both my children. So anyhow, I'm going to take a DNA test and we're going to find out what it tells me. One thing I do know though, and I'm going to steal this from Lizzo and don't worry, I won't see. I just took a DNA test. It turns out that I'm 100% that broken. That's right, I know I'm broken. But anyhow, I'm curious to see what it tells me. So when I get the results in, I will definitely do a reveal. I'll probably do a live reveal because I am really curious to see the differences. And I will compare it to what Ancestry told me. So I think that's about it for now. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I will try to be more consistent this year. No promises. Um, like I said, not a whole lot of health information to give you updates. Uh, but if you have Wagner's or somebody you love have Wagner's, please direct them to these videos. Uh, I have a whole playlist that I'll link down below that I started when I was in the hospital. Um, also, I'm going to link a very good Wagner's group. That's a group that I belong to that I really believe helped save my life. They have been a wealth of knowledge for me. They have been support. Uh, it's just a great group of you know, people who all battle. We are from all different walks of life, all different races, you know, different genders, but we all have something in common. We all are battling this monster. And if you are too, know that you're not alone. And I'd really encourage you to check it out if you are on Facebook. Um, I will link that down below as well, along with the Ancestry um, Rare Disease Study link, as well as my playlist. So I think that's about it for now. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget, not every day is good, but there is always something good in every day, and I will see you guys next time.